Unscathed Cougars, and welcome to a special episode of KCMS News. It is so special, and you know why? We've got a new KCMS News team. The KCMS News team that is going to be doing the KCMS News next year. So we're going to hand the mic off to them and see how it goes. See how it goes. I'm Kyle Letsom. And I'm Megan Neely. And this is the special KCMS News. So now Morgan and Otto have a very special announcement. Mm -hmm. This This week's week's special is spaghetti! Remember, no food or drinks outside of the cafeteria. We don't want spills everywhere. Yeah, we don't. And for you after-schoolers, please call your parents. And if your parents do not answer, please leave a message. And yeah. And now, to Blast from the Past with Lily Shepard. Yeah! So, this man right here used to work at Cascade. So, tell me a little bit about how it used to be. Well, this was back in 1990 to about 92, 93, and I was an assistant principal here. Um, There were about 500 students, so it was a little bit larger. Um, and we used to have after-school sports. Um, I can remember why I was here. We actually opened up our equipment room, and kids' sports took all of our football gear, and and they took over our sports program. So we used to have a lot more after-school activities. Um, We used to have people that were art teachers, people that were PE teachers, now what happens is uh, teachers have to teach a lot of different things where we used to have specialists back then that would teach those things. Oh, so how did kids dress back then? How did kids dress back then? Well, I don't think they dressed any differently, just kind of more towards the, the times at that particular time, you know. Um, I couldn't really think back 20 years right now and say that, you know, they dressed in a particular way because I don't remember the style back then. But, uh, um, you know, it, it it was not too dissimilar to what you guys are wearing right now. So, For all you 8th graders who didn't turn in your money for the end of the year activities, do it now. (laughs) Please. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't tried the smoothies yet, I suggest that you go check them out because those things are very delicious. Very delicious. Indeed. So if you eat breakfast all this week, your name will automatically be entered into a drawing for a camera. New camera. Mm Mm-hmm. Pretty exciting. Now, let's go to Megan Foley interviewing random people about smoothies. Hi, I'm Megan Foley, and I'm going to be asking students about the new school smoothies. How do you like the school smoothies? Well, um, the school smoothie, they're a little, uh, really yogurty, and they could have a large amount of improvement. Okay. But otherwise, they're pretty good. Um, I like that we get to take them into class, but there's way too much yogurt, and I like them, but I don't like the way they swish near my throat. Okay, thank you. So, how do you like the school smoothies? They're pretty good, compared to, especially compared to the McDonald's ones. Uh, the- Isn't having the new KCMS team on this episode fun? Yes, it's, it's very exciting. It's definitely interesting, I'll tell you that much. (laughs) Anyway, let's get back to our stuff. (laughs) Take it away, Megan. Okay, so all this week is going to be the start of the ASB campaigning. So if you see posters in the hall, please be respectful and don't graffiti or take them down. And make sure that they just look awesome, you know. So it's going to be Monday through Friday, and then I think next week that you guys get to start voting for them. So that'll be exciting. Very exciting. Now let's go to weather. 
My name is Charlotte A6, and I'm Brennan Circle, and this is the report. Hey guys, what's the weather for this week? That's what we're trying to tell you. Oh, okay. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, the weather for this week, Monday through Friday, is sunny, with the highs of... 80s and then the lows of 70s. So you can wear shorts, make sure they're at least three inches, and tank tops with the MTM of three inches. Back to you, Otto and Nate. Now let's go to Hannah Allen and Lucy Osborne with the University of the Week. Hi, I'm Hannah Allen. And I'm Lucy Osborne. And this is the College of the Week. Uh, the college is Brown University. It was founded in 1764. It's really old. That's really old. That's like 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. No. Um, it's on Providence, Rhode Island. It's the seventh oldest college. Um, it's the leading research college in America. And it's also an Ivy League university. Um, it has 13,400 students on campus that come from all around. And it has a beautiful campus. That's right. <laughs> that was Mr. Brummett. Yep. And that was the college for the week. Yep. Bye. Bye. Now we go to Megan Foley talking about random acts of kindness. Hi, I'm Megan Foley, and this week's homeroom topic is about random acts of kindness. A random act of kindness is a selfless act performed by a person or persons wishing to either assist or cheer up an individual. I will be interviewing Mr. Provo about random acts of kindness. Hi, Megan. How are you doing? Very good. You? I'm doing very well also. Thank you very much. What random acts of kindness have you done? I've done a lot of things for random acts of kindness. Uh, some weeks I let students live a little, you know, for an extra week instead of putting them in my closet and saying goodbye to them forever. Um, but in reality, I do a lot of baking of food around here for the staff. I do breads. I do hummus. I bring chips and salsa, things that they like to eat that help them just have a more fun day and a more fun week. Oh, that's nice. Yes, it is. It's very nice. Because sometimes I'm a nice guy, even though kids might not think so sometimes. I think you're a nice guy. Thank you. That'll get you an A+. Plus. Yay. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. This week is the last five-day week of the year. That's exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> Whoop-de-doo. Mm -hmm. And this week, eighth graders are starting a new career unit for college, so that will be very exciting. Now, let's go to FFVP. Hi, I'm Jessica Williams, and I'm Hannah Allen, and we're going to tell you what the fresh fruits and vegetables are for the week. So, we're going to have celery sticks, blueberries, snap peas, pineapple, and red bananas. Enjoy! This has been the best KCMS news yet. I'm Kyle Letsom. And I'm Megan Neely. And I'm Otto Monroe. <laughs> I'm Morgan Munger. And this, this has been, been the KCMS, KCMS News. Yeah!